749 is your time. There's a lot of misinformation about COVID-19 online, and a local health system is fighting against that. Joining us now is the president of the Virginia Hospital Center Foundation, Tony Burchard, to tell us exactly how they're doing that. Good morning to you, Tony. Thanks for you for being with us. Good morning, Jeanette. I'm happy to be here. Given your history uh, in the health uh, industry, have you ever seen anything like this? I mean, there's been misinformation when it comes to politics and things like this. Have you ever, ever seen anything at, at, to this scale so severe? No, we, we haven't. And, um, you know, the bottom line is we, we decided we needed to do something about it. And Virginia Hospital Center is a community first health system started doing WebEx meetings as early as April of 2020 to better inform uh, our local folks um, as to what was happening. Uh, and uh, the end result was we had hundreds of people participating every Friday at 1 p.m. with our chief medical officer and chief nurse executive. And as the uh, COVID situation uh, softened, um, we discontinued those meetings. And then um, one of our board members on the foundation suggested, you know, you should suggest you should consider doing a podcast mm. because so many people uh, are downloading podcasts. They have more time now. They're not commuting. They're um, working from home. They're listening to podcasts. You should think about that. And so we did start the podcast and it's been very well received. Yeah, I, I know um, that you all have made it a point to kind of step in and be an accessible, easy, accessible source of information because it, these days it's easy to find uh, sources that are not reliable and that are not accurate. I'm curious, though, do you find that people are fairly receptive to it? Because I know some folks just don't trust health professionals, period, and would rather go to other people who have no history when it comes to medical information. Absolutely. I think there is a, a high level of distrust, but I think in our case, since we are a community first health system, um, we have 70 plus years of serving the community. There is a higher level of trust with Virginia Hospital Center. Um, we've seen that with the, re the responses we've gotten from people. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we anticipate that going local can uh, help offset all the misinformation that people are hearing on the internet and other places. Yeah, so what you're saying is a relationship was, was already there, essentially. You have that rapport, and so you've built upon that. What would you say to someone who perhaps is watching and might have a parent, a grandparent, just a loved one, who is not receptive to information from health professionals? How do you start that dialogue and point them in the right direction? It is about trust, Jeanette, and if they have a trusted health care provider, they're uh, primary care physician, they should encourage them to speak to them. And, um, and through that relationship, hopefully they will do the right thing. And uh, we're getting to the point now where booster shots will be available and we're strongly encouraging people when it's your opportunity to get a booster, please do. Yeah, my last question to you in the last 30 seconds. Moving forward, I think uh, on many fronts, not just in the in, in when it comes to health, I, with this pandemic, I think we've all learned things and perhaps will do things differently moving forward. What's something that you would perhaps do differently moving forward when it comes to the relationship with the community and strengthening that? Well, I, I think we would, would absolutely um, identify uh, our trusted uh, physicians, um, get them out there, not only uh, in a podcast, but also on their own personal channels. Um, you know, the, we have a number of physicians that use Facebook Live to communicate on a weekly basis with followers. And I think those trusted physicians, healthcare providers using their own personal channels, along with uh, organizations like Virginia Hospital Center using our professional channels. Together, we can reach more people and create trust. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one of the big takeaways from what I've seen you guys have done is just meet people where they are, right, and make it as convenient as possible to get the right information. Tony Burchard, uh, president of the Virginia Hospital Center Foundation, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you, sir.